Hello Cancer, this is you versus them for the 5th for the 11th, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe guys. Let's see what was going on for you guys here recently. Cars are wanting to fall out all over the place for you guys, Cancer. Let's see. Cancer. What was going on for Cancer here recently? Eight of Cups, walking away. Walking away from things that have hurt you. Um, feeling like you've put, you know, you've expended all of yourself into something and, you know, it just did not um, end up the way that you would have liked for it to. And so choosing to, you know, leave that behind. Leaving that energy behind there. Piscean energy there. Let's see what was going on for them. Hmm. The fool. <laughs> Being foolish around something, um, really having faith in something that I feel like a behavior that it was going to work out for them that what they were doing was 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 good, but I think they were a little delusional about um, something here. Okay, let's see what's blocking, what's keeping you from them, what's keeping cancer from them, what's keeping cancer from them. Two of Cups. Hmm. Maybe you feel like this person, um, you know, they weren't genuine enough. I feel like you're looking for something more is what I'm getting here. And and feeling like, you know, you, you put all your energy, all your emotions, um, you were devoted to this person is what I'm getting here. And now it's like you're in search of that. You're no longer willing to accept, um, you know, breadcrumbs here is what I'm getting from this, okay? Let's see what's keeping them from you. What's keeping them from cancer? King of Wands, not being mature enough, I feel. Not seeing the air in their ways. Um, not showing you that they're excited about you. That they are w willing to like be all in and not give you little like snippets of themselves even here. Um, you know, taking control manning up or womaning up and just like being all in is what i'm getting from this okay let's see what's currently coming in for you guys what's coming what's currently going on rather for cancer what's currently going on for cancer hmm and i saw this card when i picked up the deck at the bottom um this is like you know, you guys are kind of stuck here, I feel, with the hanged man, Piscean energy there. Um, I feel like, you know, this is you feeling like this relationship is going nowhere. It's like at the dead end of a street, you know, in the cul-de-sac. It's not going anywhere. You're going around and around in circles here. And, um, and, and you just, you know, you're just kind of taking a pause right now to see how to move forward because you know that you don't want breadcrumbs. You know that you're not willing to give all of yourself and somebody is giving you um, very little, you know, watching you just break your neck, basically trying to keep this relationship together. You, it's just not happening for you anymore. It's not doing it for you. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on for them currently. Page of Wands. Hmm. I think this person is interested in addressing some issues from the past. Um, I think they're still kind of stuck right there. W trying to bait their own head up that they did everything that they could. Um, but here we see that here they're coming as a Page of Wands here. And then we have a Fool here coming out um, as far as what was going on for them in the past. Okay, this is the King of Wands is what's keeping them from you. Now, it could be another person that you guys feel like you could have, um, you know, everything with ultimate fulfillment and relationship, you know, all that. But I feel like, you know, it's more so of them not, not being mature enough not taking responsibility for themselves, not taking responsibility in the relationship even, not holding themselves accountable for their immature actions. Maybe they know that, that you know, they didn't show you enough initiation. They didn't show you enough um, love. They didn't express it. But they, they're still trying to like, 
you know, get around acknowledging that is what I'm getting here, okay? Let's see what's influencing you guys here. What's influencing Cancer? What's influencing Cancer? The moon. I think there are definitely things that have revealed themselves to you. Um, but I feel like, you know, you guys still have these very deep feelings for this person. Um, for some of you, you know, the fact your mother could actually be involved in this situation. Issues that you guys had with your mother even, or this person maybe had mother issues. And um, they're kind of getting their lines crossed up, okay? Um, expecting you to take on all the responsibility. Uh, you know, you are the one that's actually giving all of the support and them eating it up. And... Um, yeah, I, I just don't think you guys are having it, even though you still love this person. But I think you're seeing them for who they really are here with the moon. Okay. We have um, Leo, Cancer like yourself, Aries, maybe Pisces energy here. <clears throat> Let's see what's influencing them. Hmm. You guys are soulmates. Soulmates. Um, children may be an influence here as well, but um, for the most part, I think this person is um, really making excuses for themselves. They feel this energy of um, this soulmate um, relationship between the two of you, but I think them not, not admitting any wrong in this situation is really what's most important to them right now because they do not like to be wrong. Um, they do not like to feel like anything is wrong with them. You know, that sort of thing. Very childish, I feel, um, immature energy coming from this individual. But um, they're definitely not trying to, to face this. They're really not. I think they go back and forth. Um, between you know making excuses for themselves and their behavior and really thinking about being with you really thinking about reuniting with you here okay let's see who's coming in for you guys Scorpio energy what's coming in for cancer what's coming in for cancer five of wands mm. I think there's a lot of conflict, um, not only just with this person, but within you, because you do you do love this person, okay? You just don't know if if they can be what you need. Um, at the same time, I do feel like there you know there's going to be some conflict with this individual because they they have a hard time taking responsibility, you know, for themselves and their actions. And um, they may be somebody that, um, you know, will in your face deny that they have done anything wrong, that they've done all that they can do when you know and they know that they have not done all that they could do. Okay. But, you know, that type of conflict, like what is wrong with you? You can't feel like, you know, you've done everything that you can do when I'm trying to talk to you and you just sit there and ignore me. You know, that's, that's very mature. You know, that type of thing, okay? So let's see what's coming in for them. Sign. <laughs> Becoming aware. Becoming aware of not only themselves and their behavior, but aware of who you really are. Aware of what this connection really means to them. Okay? They may even be getting some, some um, advice from their father. Okay? But um, I think this person will open up. They will see, you know, you for who you really are and what you really mean to them. It's what's coming in for them. It's I feel like they're going to have like this aha moment, this person, Leo energy there. Let's see what's blocking you guys from this person. What's blocking cancer from this person? Page of Cups. Hmm. Maybe them not acknowledging their feelings. Maybe them, you know, acting out very immaturely. It's what's blocking. Okay, Cancer. So, I don't know what the heck happened. Um, I just happened to look at the screen. 
after I laid the two of pentacles down and um, so when I played it back I realized I had cut off after I laid the page of cups down um, and talking about you know what is blocking you from them and I do feel like it's the and I don't know why that happens but sometimes it does who knows but anyway I feel like maybe there their lack of um, emotional maturity is like a block for you. It's like you just cannot deal with it, okay? And then <clears throat> for them, what's blocking them is the fact that they can't even get it together on like what it is that they really truly want. They know what they want, okay? It's if they can actually put in the time and work into this thing to get what it is that they really want. You know, I feel like they're trying to take a shortcut around it, um, making excuses for themselves here about like maybe they've put in, you know, enough work or, or they've done enough or, you know, they are who they are. They can't change that. But I, but I do get that, you know, there is there is a level of emotional immaturity here with this person. Um, they know they want you. They know they feel at home with you. You feel like family to them. Okay, there's an undeniable connection here, but I just don't know if they're at a point where they are actually able to like put in the work um, to, to make this thing work. Okay, so let's see what the advice is. Wrong deck. Let's see what the advice is for you guys here. What is the advice for Cancer? What's the advice for Cancer? Oh, okay. What's the advice for Cancer? Hmm. Be careful, I feel. Um, be careful with this individual. Um, do not put all your eggs in this basket, okay? Uh, expecting them to change. I feel like there is a level of uh, sneakiness with this person. You know, I feel like they like attention. I feel like they know exactly what they're doing. There's, a, there's some kind of manipulation um, tactics that this person uses so be careful with this um, and explore other other things that you may be interested in okay do not put all your eggs in one basket is what I'm getting here let's see what the advice is for them eight of pentacles work on themselves I feel if they if they want and they need to be more humble is what I'm getting to work on themselves, be more self-aware, um, be more aware of other people's feelings, work on themselves. And if they want this relationship, they need to work with you to build up this foundation so you guys can have this Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, have everything here if they really want this with you. Because there are really deep feelings here. You guys probably have um, sheer dreams as well with this person is what I'm getting. Um, but I think I think you already know you know about this connection you're just not willing to you know basically sacrifice yourself anymore just to be here with them let's see what the outcome is for you guys what is the outcome for cancer king of swords hmm moving on doing other things removing your emotions from situations um, not not making decisions from an emotional standpoint really kind of looking at things realistically and um, moving forward because this king of swords is forward facing studying and learning um, doing what he needs to do you know to move forward here not letting anyone um, you know affect your emotional stability is what I'm getting okay and let's see what the outcome is for them. What is the outcome for them? Outcome for them. Hmm. Their world is going to be shook. Their world is going to be shook. You know, everything that they thought they knew or they thought they were smarter when they thought they were smarter than, you know, other people that they could get over by doing very little. Um, all that shit's coming down. Okay, um, I feel like they will awaken to a lot of things about themselves here. And um, the fact that you guys are just not allowing any foolishness um, into your space anymore. They're in for a rude awakening, basically. Okay, so we have Leo, we have Scorpio, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Aries, maybe, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, Piscean energy here 
Okay. So my guys, that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon.